Hello and welcome to week 9 of English 111 online fall 2020 at Johnston Community College. So after a couple of weeks of working on our compare and contrast paper, we are shifting gears and we are now moving into paper 3, which is the argument paper. And this is where you kind of get to recalibrate your brain a little bit because we're going to be... Um, this paper is a different approach from what we've done before. Um, for the narrative paper, you basically got to tell a story of some sort of event in your life, and you got to write it from your own experiences and kind of convey the message of why that's important. For your compare contrast paper, you got to look at, okay, well, what? here are two things, which one's better than the other, and you really got to use your just kind of your own experiences and your own opinion on things. Well, now we're moving to the argument paper where we're, we're shifting gears, where you need to take yourself out of the equation altogether. Now, you are able, absolutely able, to um, pick your own topic. You can do that. Um, however, your opinion should not necessarily be used. It can be implied, okay? But any evidence that you provide needs to be researched and provided as such. So this is a big shift um, where everything before was kind of just on your own. We're now doing a, a research paper. So it's an argument paper, okay? And so understand the, uh, the concept of arguing. Arguing is really not necessarily fighting as much as persuasion and saying, hey, this is the better thing to be doing, you know, and there's all sorts of controversial topics you can go on um, and saying why this is the right thing to do, you know, um, and then give evidence that is, um, you know, that backs up your point. Because a lot of what we have in our lives are beliefs that we were either told as kids um, or we kind of just experienced in our limited uh, view of the world and as we kind of grow up as it were and the world becomes a bigger place as far as we get uh, introduced to more things we need to really understand okay well when someone's really passionate about something is it just because that's what I was told and so that's what I believe which is okay you know and we're not necessarily talking about religious things we can be talking about any number of things you know it's like well I really believe that the uh, the Datsun is a much better car than the BMW. Okay, well, where's your proof? Well, that's just what I believe. Well, I believe something different. Show me the proof, right? So, with enough of that, let's kind of talk about what's going on. So, there is an article here called, Yes, Social Media is Risky, and it kind of is like an argument um, that's saying, should we use social media in the workplace? So, this is kind of an example of an argument, okay? Um, and... The, the paper and instructions for the argument paper are right here. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you're going to use a controversial topic, okay? And you're going to basically say, okay, this is my thing. So let's say uh, you pick the topic of uh, legalizing marijuana for recreational use, okay? Well, that's your topic. And your, your argument is that it, it should be legalized, okay? Um, well, uh, you can't. In an, argument, in an argument paper, in a research paper, say, well, I know someone who, you know, they use it and it's fine. Though that doesn't, who, you know, that doesn't count. You have to find research that helps you with that. And, um, you yeah, know, we'll get to that anyway. But um, this is a two to five page paper. Okay, two to five pages in length. And it is, uh, it does not include the works cited page. And we'll talk about works cited here in just a, a minute. Um, so two to five pages in length, works cited page. You need to have at least, um, how many sources did I say? It needs to be written in third person, which we've talked about. I think it's at least three sources. Yeah, it's a thing. Okay, anyway. Um, yes, there it is. Ha! Ah, cite at least three credible sources in your paper. So three sources, two to five pages in length, doesn't include a works cited page, it needs to be in third person. Okay, and it needs to be in MLA formatting. So we will get to that in just a second. So I'm just introducing the concept of the argument paper for you. Um, also notice that for this week, you are turning in your final draft of your compare contrast paper. Um, just like we did before, you have to click on the link and upload it and then click on the little button that you agree to submit it um, 
to the global reference database that checks for plagiarism. And again, you can click on view rubric to see how it is graded. So that's how you upload your compare contrast paper. Uh, for for, for, for Folio 7, you mean this little, uh, this little, uh, article right here on social media is risky okay um you get to actually comment on it okay so someone's made a point of you know they made an argument and you can kind of do a counter argument for portfolio seven um where you just kind of you know kind of give your reasons why social media should be allowed or not allowed at work you know or does it depend on what kind of job you do and then extra credit woohoo so we're about halfway through this class and so um, I want to know what's working well, what's not working well, or something that you would change about this class that I actually have control over, and what suggestions do you have for me to make the class better? Um, every once in a while, I mean, and then you can earn five points of extra credit towards one of your major papers, and that's good, because anytime you can get extra credit, that's great. Keep in mind, this is an online class. You signed up for an online class, so if you say, well, what's not working well, I'd rather be sitting in a classroom. Well, that's not them, then I can change, and that's, you chose to be in this class, so that's not, you know, whatever, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so think about how this class is really kind of set up and structured. Um, it's, it's it's for an online class, because, you know, if you wanted to say, I'd rather be meeting with the professor one-on-one, -on -one, well, yeah, okay, but that's not really what this class is about. This is an online class. Anyway, so that's it for week number nine. So we're kind of gearing up to do the argument paper. We're finishing up the first draft of the compare contrast paper. We're kind of getting dipping our toe into um, the argument world as far as portfolio. And again, when we talked about third person, please remember, again, if you go to the course information and you go to video tutorials, um, if you're not sure what first, first, second, or third is, you can watch this video right here, right here, and that shows you, um, again, explains the difference between first, second, and third. And uh, a lot of people use second person, and so this video right here shows you how to find and fix that in your paper if you're having problems with that. Okay, so that's it for week number nine, and I think that is where we should be, yeah week number nine. So there we go. All right. Well, go ahead and get to work.